Welcome back to the Artie Lag Show. Comedian Dan St. Germain is here. Look uh, for him uh, Friday, September 13th at uh, Nerd, Nerd, Melt, <laughs> Nerd Melt in L.A. Uh, he's going to be uh, doing his comedy album, uh, two shows, Good at the Bad Times. And, of course, Mariana Rivera blows a save. How often do you say that? A lot, a lot more often than we used to. Yeah. Actually, so it's 8-8 eight, eight now in the ninth, bottom of the ninth, uh, Curtis Granderson up. And may I say, you can't grandle the truth. And uh, the Broncos, is this the start of the third quarter? Yeah. Okay. And they're going to take the ball now. So, Dan, so what's, uh, we were talking, you might move to L.A. You might because you want a backyard. And... Yeah, this is backyard. Is that, I... you got the, you, you have a girlfriend or fiance? What do you I got a girlfriend. It's just yeah. six months, so. Uh, how's that going? It's good. She's yeah. great. She's a lot hotter than me. <laughs> you know? Good. A lot smarter. A yeah. lot nicer. Well, that's of a person. Nice. Now, what does she do? Is she in the business? She works in finance. Oh, wow. So. Now, do you feel she could help you out? Because a lot of comics aren't good on that Not area. yet, but hopefully at yeah. some point. That's yeah. the plan. A lot of comics aren't good in that area. I, I'm terrible at it. I'm no, so, it's, I'm that's a horrible awful. businessman. Like, you know. But also, you think that the check's going to be so much bigger. Like, when you hear the number <laughs> and then you realize, like, after, I've literally gotten checks that were a fifth of what I thought. Commissions they were. and everything. Commission, taxes. The commissions are the worst. Oh. It really is like so. Like before, you don't know, why because yeah, I respect the comics who had the balls to just go like, look, I'm not getting a manager unless I really need it. When I was coming up in the business, all of my guys I looked up to at that time was like guys I sort of knew from working with them on the, like you know Spade, Norm, McDonald. Like they all had managers, lawyers, and agents. So I'm like, right. okay, I guess that's what you got to get. And I celebrated when I got a manager. I'm like, great, I'm an agent. Then before you know, you're giving 25 percent of your check. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's ridiculous, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I do. I don't think you could do with that. Like, I will say that, like, well, I think if you have a have really good manager, lot, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Well, yeah. no. Listen, if you have a really good manager, I don't think you need a good agent, and vice versa. Well, because I, well, I've had it where I've, you know, I've been with a manager forever, and she's awesome. And I've, I've been with, you know, and I've had stuff before that where I wasn't thrilled. Right. And now my, uh, my, my agent's great too. But am I just saying this so I keep working too? I don't know. <laughs> no, well, but they, they actually John's are, world. They take yeah. what three percent. Yes. Well, for negotiating a contract in the NFL, they take our three? union negotiated that they can only have up, up to 3%. 3%? That's yeah. that's for the contract that you signed to play football. But then, like, now, for endorsements. endorsements and stuff, it's 10. Oh, it is? Oh, but yeah. that's amazing. 10 amazing. to 20, yeah. But a guy like A-Rod, like, Boris makes his money. He probably triples his thing. Yeah, Actually, I don't A-Rod's know what such a douchebag. He doesn't get a lot of endorsements, does he? No. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe he gets paid to wear Nike and stuff. But Jeter and all that, he's actually on, on commercials. Mm-hmm. That's true with A-Rod. He was such a douche, I guess. You ever saw him in a lot of commercials? No, I've never seen him on any. Before the scandal, I was talking to an agent, legendary agent, this guy, William Mars, James Dixon. He told me uh, before the scandal, uh, he said uh, the one dream client he'd want forever was Tiger Woods because of the endorsement potential. You know, like, and, and uh, it's, it's true before. It's incredible. Yeah, even now, he's still, he's way, he's back earning money again. Yeah. This country will forgive sex. Suriana gets in a pickle. Good move, jerk off. How'd that happen? Oh, Girardi, get, get on top of these guys. Are you a Yanks fan, Dan? I don't like baseball that much, but I tried. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. To, to try, you tried being. I, I mean, tried. I just, I just can't, like, focus the whole game. It's just too slow. For me. <laughs> it is. You're from that generation. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? 29. Yeah, you're from that generation. I'm not uh, from that generation, and I kind of feel the same way. Well, you're only 10, you're only 10 years 10 old. years, yeah. I got the, almost 10 years on you. Lifelong WNBA fan. That's me. That's <laughs> always. <laughs> I, have a, I have a fantasy <laughs> league every year. <laughs> <laughs> you big Minnesota Lynx guy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they win every year. I did, did, a gig, I did a gig in Minneapolis two yeah. days after they won the title, and I didn't even know they had. Like, they were going nuts for the Lynx. And the like, Lynx? Yeah, they're like people at the, an Indian casino outside of Minneapolis. They're huh. going to talk about the Lynx. <laughs> You're like, no. What the hell are you talking about? Like, Lynx. Uh. And he goes, no, the Minnesota Lynx. I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm not talking about it. How many <laughs> teams are in that, that oh, league? I don't, I don't... T.D. Manning. What a pass. You see that pass? Yeah. Beautiful. So how old's Peyton Manning? He's still got, he's still got a fastball there, And man. who is this guy? I, I... He's a Peyton Manning. No, no, Manning. no, no, no. Number 12. Manning Brothers? Uh, oh, the other the receiver? Who knows? Some receiver. Yeah, it must be. Oh, uh, wait, holding. A new pickup. Bring it back. Oh, nah, defensive, defensive holding. Defensive holding. Turn hey, it Shane, down. Can you check out a, who number 12 is? Uh, because we, I mean, we thought. Caldwell. Oh, okay. All right. Andre Caldwell. Andre Caldwell. So we got 
watch Andre this, Caldwell watch this getting pass. in the mix now. Watch this pass. With Eric hey, Decker. Oh, that's what a pass. Wow. Let's see if your conditioning Good theory uh, it might be on the money. Your conditioning theory, dude. Yeah. I juggled it a little bit and right. Uh, nah, no, he's, he's in. in. He's, he's in. in. He's in. So if, look at that. I mean, the receiving core. Now that we've seen Julius Thomas score two touchdowns, Caldwell's got a nice catch there. You got Eric Decker, Real Wes nice Welker, catch. Demarius Thomas, that, it, and Peyton Manning's throwing the ball. Is that I a mean, nicer is, catch or a pass? Pass. Nicer pass. He should have cut it the first time. He shouldn't have bobbled it. But, Shetty, what is your who is your favorite receiver on the Broncos? <laughs> Mike Boschetti. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you know Dan at all, Mike? Uh, yeah, I know Dan. He's very funny. Nice you know guy. Dan? Yes. Mike is in a feud with Dave Chappelle, Dan. Yeah. I heard it. This, at the comedy world is a buzz about that <laughs> feud. <laughs> now, is the fashion world a buzz about uh, Mike's shirts? <laughs> now, what, did you see what you're doing here? You're creating a situation where you're going to be in a big feud here. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? Who cares? I don't like him. Oh, my Whoa. God. Oh, wow. I, I, happen to be, I happen to be friendly with him. Well, you know, everybody has friends and people don't like Everybody don't have friends. And he's a fellow Ohioan, so that kind of makes. Well, him there you go. He's an oh, really? Well, he didn't grow up there. Not since no. the he chose to move there. <laughs> he lived in he lived in D.C. for a long well, time. Well, that's so. where he grew up. But he chose to move to Ohio. You know a lot oh, about really? him. Are you for a enemy? God, you're a stalker. <laughs> no, because mm-hmm. he lived yeah. in D.C. for fourteen point eight years. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? He was a total nimrod. We get and, it, but you so. you're not giving us the details. I'll I'll, t- I'll talk about it off air because he's well, not. Well, why worth, do I don't care off air? He's not worth talking about, really. Why are we do- we've been doing it for the last wow. two days. What, what, what did he do? He's just a... Pe- oh, I, I don't want to talk what? about him. Really. He must have done something really There's bad. Something really he was bad. really, like, cocky and obnoxious one day when I first met him. Did he I say something specifically to you? I, I This is, like, about back in, like, 97, when Catch a Rising Star. I'm glad you don't right? hold a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was... It was, it was Catch well, a Rising Star? <laughs> it was just back when it was the back during the Bells or Bobcats? He was... <laughs> It was, it was a total douche for me that night. We so. get it! But you're not giving details. I don't want to talk about him anymore, Rod. I really don't. Because... Oh, my God, Mike, calm down. He, he said something with... about your family, didn't he? Did John, he? John, I don't even want to talk about him. He's not worth talking about. Wow. I wouldn't even want his name coming wow. out of my mouth, so I don't even care. All right. Wow. Jeez. Man, yeah. when Chappelle hears about this. Oh, yeah, I'll never work in a Wendy's again if he hears about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> What, yeah, know. you know what, though? Uh, like I said, like you were saying the other night, how many other people could have made $50 million? I think there were a bunch of people I know that should have had that kind of well, money. Why, too. why didn't they get it then? Because <laughs> people, are, people are kind of stupid in this. Oh, they are? Hmm. Now, listen. Now, uh, why isn't, why isn't Dave, David Tell a millionaire like that then? I don't know. Well, because he didn't pitch a show. They got on the air, and <laughs> a lot of people watched. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a formula, Mike. Yeah, it's a formula of. of of nonsense sometimes. You really are, man. I don't think I've ever heard you this bad. Who do you hate more, uh, Dave or Barry Katz? Barry's a toolbox himself. Okay. So. Dan, no, I don't really hate... Oh, what happened? Let me tell you what happened, Well, right? Dan, doesn't this sound like hatred? You're a young comic. I mean... Yeah. When this... Mm-hmm. No, but... No, but uh, this, I haven't seen a rivalry so intense since the Paula Poundstone Gallagher <laughs> rivalry in, I think, 89. I don't know. I wasn't... My parents told me about it. I wasn't... <laughs> Paula Paul did the same bit with cantaloupe. <laughs> she was... <laughs> she was hiding the fruit in her shoulder pads, and Gallagher <laughs> smashed him with a hammer. Oh, no, what, what happened was... I went over and said, Dave, I, I like your work. I think you're funny, right? Well, that was nice. And man. I was nice, but he was just just blew me off, though. He's a, b- a bonehead. Well, the, so far, it doesn't sound like something that warrants 16 years of hatred. No, but I mean, <laughs> but, uh, at the same time, but, you know, like I said, <laughs> no, but I mean, he was just... <laughs> it sounds like... I mean, the Cold War is happening here. Over, yeah, are, you, right. are you sure he did this? Maybe yeah, you misinterpreted he's, he's a total, total dipwad. A dipwad? Don't I, use that language here. <laughs> All right, fine. Now, who else do you hate? Not too many people, really. You, well, you, you said you hate a lot of people. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it, there's been people in this that have been cool. There's some really good people. Did Dave I mean, refuse to give you a ride home? I don't even, I don't even know. What, <laughs> well, they, oh God, he, he refused to give Dan a ride home. <laughs> I mean, listen, Dan, you are our liaison of the. No, Dan, I meant Dan, I mean, Dan for a lot. I know. Time. <laughs> I'm talking to our guest, Dan. Oh, it's the young comedian yeah, you revolution are, yeah, yeah, going yeah, yeah, on right now? Yeah, you are our conduit to that. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. I want you to try to, like, sugarcoat this because okay. I don't want to create right. any ruffles, you know, 
uh, the, the opinions expressed by Machete aren't excessively are uh, necessarily are <laughs> right. No, no, it's true. But this is this is huge. Uh, he's gonna go back. He's gonna go back to the uh, modern day Algonquin Round Table <laughs> at the Kettle and Fish in Long Island City. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys should invite Dave Chappelle to the show. I have to debate. She, I have. Why didn't he come on then? Audie thinks he's too good. Well, no, he was. Uh, he's been touring. No, he might have. He was gonna come on until yesterday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what everybody says. I don't, I don't, you know. Who else said that? I don't know. I mean, people <laughs> say stuff. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot about Bill Murray, too, from Mr. Fallot. What? Now you hate Bill Murray? You're no, Bill I Murray. love Bill Murray. I didn't You're say really Bill Murray. You're really trying to win people over. I, I didn't You're say people in Winston. Princess Diana you, next. Yeah, we really, could, you, could you get your show business views with some lower-level people? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe people listen to what I said. I, I didn't say I hated Bill Murray. I said Dan is could you hate? Could you start a Nick Kroll feud or something? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Dan would have brought him on by now. I mean, don't I love bring Murray. me into your little war with Dave Chappelle. Yeah, and what is me, that? And keep Bill Murray out of it. You would have thought Dan would have brought Bill Murray. Well, Dan was always <laughs> talking about him in the beginning. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> that is true, Dan. But doesn't wrong. a war mean that both sides are aware of the war's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if Chappelle. Uh, knows no, I about think it actually, I really don't. Actually, there's some there's some countries where a war at that I don't think we know about. <laughs> <laughs> Syria being one of them. Uh, well, you know, listen, uh, Mike. Listen, uh, make a good stand here. Uh, I, I admire. I admire that uh, you don't just like uh, reserve your wrath for like lower level people who are. No, there's a lot of those too. But I just, you know. Well, who are I, they? It's not. No. Oh, the thing is. Okay. I'm I, sorry. I'm, it's really bad. I got a lot of hostility from people who were, who were jerks to me. There's a lot of people who are in the beginning, and there's still people in the city now I don't like. Well, who? Just, just a lot of people gave me a hard time in the beginning of this. I'm not going to forget it. Okay, well, who else? Just a lot of... I don't want to mention any more people. I, will, I hear that, though, because when somebody's mean to you when you're nothing, then... Yeah. Well, I've, I have a few of those, too. Yeah. Sure. But I'm Shetty's not the only one. one. Wrote, one of them. Some big people did that, too. I'm not the only person who blew that top at people in this. What are you talking about? I mean, I heard stories about some other people that are well-known that, like, walked into certain clubs and, you know, people are going to put them on. They're like, why do you want to put me on now? I don't understand a word you just said. Uh, there are people that are big, right? That certain clubs wouldn't put on in the beginning. Oh, and they, okay. And they but came now back they years will. later, and and, it, and the owners kissed their butt. Well, and that, said I to the mean, person, but that's you, you I mean, that happens to me too. I no, was treated like crap by some guys, and that. But that's you know what are you gonna do? Those are human beings. That's how people no, no, act. But, uh, but then the person that they asked said, "Why do you want to put me on now? You never did before." And I don't blame them for saying it, really. All right. But sometimes you just get way funnier. Yeah, that's you true. know what I mean. There's that. There's too. a reason you're you're more famous at that point because you got better. Don't you feel you're a better comic yeah. than you were in 1997? Oh, but how bad how bad is that? Somebody I know that owned one of the clubs in the city passed on Jim Carrey years ago. You know what he said? Oh, what he what is he about? He's a quirk quirky guy, just like whatever. Who said that? I'm not saying who said it. Or... Why? It was you're, Dave you're... Chappelle was what I said. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chappelle and Bill Murray were smoking weed and said that. <laughs> no, but I mean, how ridiculous is that? And this guy's like driving. Who's the guy? You have to say it now. You see, you're being, you're making uh, radio rule number one is what you're breaking here. You're I heard, making... I heard that Carrie Hoffman said. Oh. Uh... <laughs> you want to get that Carrie, like... Carrie Hoffman juggernaut man at you? <laughs> All right. No, but uh, can I just say one thing? Chappelle, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I, maybe I, I did have you wrong. What? I'll, I'll be a big man, but maybe I did have you wrong. But, I mean, maybe you should have had a bad night. Who knows? <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure he's finally happy to hear that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's thrilled. So have you forgiven him? Of course. <laughs> have you let this go? Yeah, now? but, John... It doesn't seem like you really Dan knows how. Dan knows how... <laughs> Audie knows how brutal this business is, too. There's a lot of, What like, about Dan, though? So does Dan. Don't track I mean, me into it. Dan, Dan's the one who's been promising Bill Murray. <laughs> No, I'm talking. I don't. I don't. I mean, I know Dan has a lot of famous people that he calls, so he does. Now, who, now, how many lavender shirts did you buy? No, I have. I bought some cool stuff. The I lavender mean, one, the salmon one, and a, a is that periwinkle. That salmon? He had a periwinkle. Yeah. Salmon. Is periwinkle a color? And, yeah, I think yeah. so. I think yeah. It's now it's the like, lavender. Periwinkle is a color. Yeah. yeah. What's it look like? What kind a of light color? Blue. A, light, a light blue. I found out there was no bet. You know who did it? I've, I looked on the what internet. What are you talking about? That woman that called in, right? There's that no was, bet. There was no woman from California. Oh, Beth. You know who did it? I found Beth, out. Beth. I went online. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was, was a woman? No, there was no, no bet. 
No, 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 no. Dan, let me give you There was a woman named Beth, not okay. Beth, <laughs> uh, who called up and uh, gave Mike some crap, and he went nuts on her. Let's play that tape. No, but not, this is way, let's play the tape for right. Dan St. Germain. I'll okay. This is after, the, the, what you're gonna, can we play hear, what she said, and well, then we well, can play the reaction? What you're about to hear is his reaction to her just basically going, Mike, you're like too big for your britches or something. No, she said I was delusional. Delusional. Was a, a delusional. And here's what Mike says. I didn't. Well, I just did. Dan, yeah, she don't know. She don't know what she's Okay, calm down. Yeah. She said. Get upset. No, she's a. Well, that's what she is, though, Dan. I'm not saying sorry. That's what that whore is. I'm not. I'm not apologizing. I'm not. The sun came out of time. I'm not apologizing. See? All right, it's okay. It's okay, Mike. Take a deep breath. Come. I know you're. Some fucking drugged up whore. <laughs> <laughs> that mother's. I'm not talking about that fucking stacker. Oh, my God. No, I'm she's a fucking. I'm sorry. No, I mean, she don't know me. Who the fuck is she? Is this real? <laughs> she don't know me from Adam. She don't. She don't know the about me. That's <laughs> this is she bad. Me. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just like, she don't know me from Adam. I'm of people judging me that don't know me. Yeah, they don't know. A lot of anger. <laughs> yeah, but there's not one person in this room that never got that angry before. Oh, of I course. No, yeah, yeah but totally. That, not at that. Yeah. No, but I found out online <laughs> that it was that, that guy who runs Dog Saloon. No, it wasn't a guy. No, you're not letting me finish, John. Runs Dog Saloon? That, that, that clown, Arm, from Long Island. It was people who... Oh, I was fired though. Yeah, but you know what, though? I, I didn't, I don't, that site is very brutal. Now, what site? Dogs. Well, look, the internet's very brutal. Oh, no, but I mean, but. But play for Dan St. Germain, a couple other Mike's greatest hits, the two ones we love. Uh, here, here's Mike uh, yelling for some other stuff. <laughs> I'm getting tired of these little, these little, these little jerks in it, and they're, I'm tired of crapping all over the place and picking up <laughs> pee all day, and it's annoying me. <laughs> and yes. how Hollywood when you, I mean, Oh, what's it like? Oh, no, it's not like my mother, you know, whatever, I know. <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, well, what, what, we got to take a break. Okay, sure. No, go ahead. What? No, I was going to... No, I, I'll tell you in a second. No, well, go ahead. Tell me now. We're on the air. No, we got a break coming on. Okay. What? Tell me. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> we got Casey Stern coming up. But, Dave, if you want to hang, you want to talk uh, talk some more sports? Sounds good, yeah, man. Casey, come on. I can't we'll, believe we'll, we'll that. We're just going to an Algonquin roundtable. Uh, and we need a smart guy, so Casey's here. Casey Stern's going to talk some baseball. Dan's going to hang around. Uh, Joe Coy's coming up later. we got a great show. All right, so come on back.